16. Man, we've got... This is this is going to determine how the rest of this tournament goes in a lot of ways, you know? Yeah, for many people, this is what they consider to be the grand finals of the tournament, you know? Neither of these players are guaranteed to go on to win the entire tournament, but right. uh, this has become the rivalry that it once was over again. For so many years, Mango was dominant over Hbox. Mm -hmm. And then uh, uh, Hbox had a slew of just victories over Mango, but nowadays yeah. it's like, who's playing better that day? Right, they've been trading sets, and though Hbox does have the slight lead, yeah, I mean, uh, the Smash Con sets were just really decisive in Mango's in Mango's favor, and I, I think um, Mango realizes that he just needs to play in his face and very mix-up heavy in this particular yeah. matchup. I mean, that's a lot of what S Fat did, uh, coupled with you know several reads to get those KOs as well, in order right. to send H Box into losers to begin with. Right, right. Gets the trade. And it, you can look right now and just see the way that Mango is changing up the timings on when he tries to approach H-Box. Yeah, and he's just sliding all these platforms. It's difficult to say what he's going to do, right? And, and his and his uh, mindset on lasers is that, hey, I don't need to... I, I touched a little bit on this earlier. He doesn't need to hit them, but it's all about, hey, if I'm lasering, it forces him to kind of approach a little bit, and that's where I'm going to start those reads that you were talking about. Absolutely. So, yeah, I mean, he does single laser. <laughs> <laughs> Still kicking it in 2007 <laughs> or 6 or <laughs> whatever they did single laser. Yeah. Back when J-Man claimed single laser was optimal. <laughs> J-Man. But crazy. Him fading away on the back air again. Gets him with the up smash. Yeah. Yeah. The read. And even before that, the movement te techniques that he does is just so hard to, like, read. Yeah. And H-Box is in trouble. Yeah. He really just had... H-Box has finally had stage control for the first time. Yeah. He's done a decent job with it. Mango's still getting some trades and putting up to 27% on HBox at this point. The weight! Oh my goodness. Knowing oh. exactly what he needed to do. And he needs to nail this edge guard. No, oh, that's, that's tough. It that's is tough. tough. Mango was at such a height that it was really difficult for HBox to get all the way up and just hit him out there. And at the yeah. same time, Mango had so many different angles available to him. True, true. Finally, HBox does manage to close it out at a 190% Fox. Right. Oh, this is where Mango has to be careful. Oh, <gasps> oh my god, this Batash battle! Oh! oh! Optimal punish! That's a crazy rest out of shield, but he will get KO yeah. for it. Mango will take the trade, still up a full stock. But HBox needed some momentum on yeah, his side. No, that was a totally a good call for him to go for that. Right, right. Can't disagree. Oh, okay. I think he uh, recognized that unsafe on shield <laughs> might be a rest of spot dodges after that neutral air. What a grab. Yeah, that was a great crouch cancel. Mango considers going for the immediate counterattack, but double jumps to the top platform, just playing a little bit safer. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, the wave dash towards back air. Yo, <laughs> Gets yo. the grab off it too, and Mango with a clean two-stock game one. My goodness. My Aside goodness. from that, uh, <laughs> this <laughs> 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 these, these crowd and H box is oh, not impressed. Great. Oh, and Captain Crunch yeah. blocking the sign. I have to imagine Mango has no coach. Whoever he's listening to, that's his Perhaps coach. Ocean Man is his coach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the duck chant once more. Oh, he's timing! He's timing! He's him. timing! <laughs> Yo, the homies in the crowd not letting this go over 30 seconds. Man, aside from that one uh, very frame tight punish on the rest out of shield after up smash, uh, HBox really did not have a lot going for him. Right. He right. finally took the first stock at a super high percentage after extended series of edge guards. Right. And Mango just looked in control for most of that. There were a few hairy moments where Mango seemed like, oh, is he standing up, dude? Oh my gosh. Outside of the frame of camera. Oh, there you go. Yeah, oh, give me the wide angle. Give me the wide angle. There we go. Looking good. Mango again going for the wave dash towards back air, which is uh, just a risky move overall. Hbox oh. ready for it. Uh, the air dodge was a great choice yeah. actually because uh, that particular forwarder he could have reacted to another up B. Yeah, but air dodge doesn't quite work out for him. Hbox taunts as well. He's trying to get something going. Yeah, he's trying to feel himself somehow. Ooh, the nair. Yeah, you're right. He he wants to gain momentum any way he can. You know. Yeah. So standing up is a uh, part of that mental game. I so, so far what I've seen twice from HBox now is uh, him holding his ground against Mango. And a third time. Okay. So he's going for shielding a little bit more, trying to block and get the shield grab, and then also crouch cancel. Whereas he was doing a lot of retreating last game, which Mango was reading. Man, that was actually crazy when he did the down throw and then he pounds right through the platform to get that uh, conversion. Yeah, that was nice. Really crazy. 
So I do like to see the uh, quick adjustments from HBox so far. Yeah, we'll I mean, see if Mango adjusts the way he attacks a little bit. Now he's still going for that aggressive back air. Right. I think maybe HBox can uh, realize that the lasers aren't too threatening the way Mango is doing them, and yeah. uh, not be uh, sh shaken up by them, and just kind of play his back air spacing game. You know, yeah. Not when, feel like he has to approach. Right. Right. When he um is why he makes so many clutch clutch comebacks is because he's reliant on. Uh, he goes back to that bread and butter style of safety. And uh, back air spacing, yeah. And maybe he can just do that without being at the uh, corner. Okay, nice. Nice. He's able to reach all the way up there for that back air. Mango not quite up being high enough for it to be relatively safe against the puff attack. Right. He could have side beat and at least made it on the stage there. And see, yeah, he's not like really giving the lasers that much respect this go around. No, not at all. Ooh, the shield poke on that. Oh, okay. What can he get off of it? Nice. The tech chase. So, oh. Uh, so much respect on all those techs as well from HBox, knowing that he's not going to fall down and get that jab reset that he's accustomed yeah. to. Yeah, he's immediately going for the follow-up on them. Yeah. The uh, tech chase follow-up. Okay. Oh, Mango. What Terrifying. is this guy doing? Mm, both of them whiffing smash attacks. Okay, and Mango nice. not getting either shortened, assuming he may have been going for it on the second go around. And HBox just playing that game till he gets that one hit, and he just capitalizes extremely hard. Yeah, and I think that's going to be uh, the adjustment from his end. No, definitely. Because you know, at this percent, it's like okay, 112. If I get hit by six or seven lasers, what's really the risk there? Yeah, he's already out of up the upper percentage. Back air is the only thing you can slowly really want to build percentage for. Right. Up air and up smash are both started to kill long ago. Right. Ooh, there we go. Crouch jab into the back air. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Hbox still with a very comfortable lead. And I would not be surprised to see a little bit more of a riskier play from him. Something like a pound read. True. Or, uh, you know, any kind of knockdown he could possibly get. Yeah, dash attack would be a, not a bad choice. Yeah, either. exactly. Some where he lands. See, there we go. He goes for something like that. Land and grab. Yeah. Okay, uh, oh, some kind of mix-up oh, like that. Big. Catches the double jump, but not the second time around yeah, on the side yeah. B. Usually he throws out that neutral air in that particular position yeah. to grab the side B. Exactly, just the persistent hitbox. Yeah, Mango's building some percentage, though. This could be a little scary for H-Box. Yeah, you got to get him down to that last stop. Oh, oh it cancels God. the back air. Mango. Okay, just go for the up air, up air follow-up. And, and you see Mango is not lasering anymore, because I feel like he's realized, okay, I'm not getting much use out of it <laughs> anymore. Yeah. But a great read with that up smash. He just waited for it. That was great. Hbox comes straight down though. Yo, yo, Mango. Get the Mango chance a real. Ooh, there's the dash attack, and that's gonna be a tough recovery. Yeah. Mango not quite able to make it. Hbox evening the setup at one one. Right, right, and goes to Captain Crunch right away. Yes, kisses him on the cheek. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> He just he leaned down. I thought he was giving him a little peck on the cheek. I he just know. needed moral support on that particular 30-second <laughs> break. <laughs> Show me some love, Captain. Oh. oh, my God. Mango will survive that. Okay. That's amazing. Yeah, on story, I thought it would just KO him straight up. Yeah, and typically, Hbox goes for up airs or whatnot beforehand, but he's kind of uh, confident that it was going to KO. Doesn't yes. quite work out. Yeah. Ooh, it's the pound read. Nice ASDI down from Mango, though, and immediately grabs him out of that, too, after the wave land. Good stuff. That can be really difficult to deal with, especially because you hit him like that, and you're like, okay, I knocked him off stage. I can set up now. Right. Mango, going crazy. 45 already. And hit him with, like, four out of five lasers. Yeah. But uh, when Mango gets the ASDI down and grabs ledge, and then wave lands back on to counterattack so quickly, right, right. Hbox isn't ready for it. And look at this again. Yo. We're not even a minute in, and two puff stocks are out the door. Yeah, and again, that benefit he got from Dreamland was that kind of big spacing where he didn't have to be so scared of the lasers, but now Mango can just be right up in his face. Yeah, Mango pretty much shrinks the uh, safe zone that Hbox is used to being able to rely on. Right, right, right. Yeah, well, well, well. A bear. Ooh, I thought that might KO. Pretty He's increased percentage. the danger zone. It's like half the stage. Okay. Nice. All right. Out nice here. extended H box edge guard. Mm -hmm. Able to seal it out. And now, anytime Ooh. Mango gets put in this position. Nice. Oh. That's that. Oh my goodness. Ooh, he's able to jump out of that. Wow. Right. Just right. barely. But that is not easy for Puff to do. That is like very, very uh, tight oh reaction. Oh my god, Because, uh, like we pointed out, not fast, not a fast character. Yeah. So, again, yeah. those re grabs are clutch. I mean, you have to put yourself in the spot ahead of time. It's 
you have to put yourself where you're relatively sure he'll be and then yeah. react accordingly. Right, right, right. Hbox has brought this back after Mango started off so strong. Mm -hmm. True, very true. Oh! Oh, he oh, got single hit on that too! Mango knew he was like, you're gonna wait for me to approach right now, and I'm just gonna stand here and you're just gonna grab and look silly. Yeah, that was a great call from Mango. Again, just those weights, after all of the movement he's doing, these weights are so crazy. Yeah. Oh my god! And the DI mix ups after get that neutral air, he smashed the eyes in and allows him to get that up tilt. Ooh, a great defensive up air from Hbox though. Oh, the able edge. to carry Mango off stage. Gets the edge cancel with that back air, and this should. Really wow! Cool. Deep! went all the way in for that, and for all intents and purposes, this is even right now. Yeah, especially the way HBox has been comboing. Yeah, his conversions have cleaned up much, much better than they were in winners. And rest is completely on the table. Last stock situation. Yeah. So, what a scary pound. Right. I don't think he meant to ground it like that. Right. Mango, though, okay. slowly pushing him off. Okay. The aggressive back airs. Oh, goes for the up smash. Really? Yeah, tries to sneak under there. It's worked out before, and we saw it work out as uh, SFAT was playing him. Okay. <gasps> Hbox is getting those stray hits. Yeah, this is that clutch Hbox we've seen where he's just super safe and putting out these back airs, back airs that are, even if he doesn't hit, pretty safe. Yeah. Wow, that up Look air. at this. Oh, he oh. Could, oh, I thought he was going to oh jab reset. I thought he was going to, and then I thought he was going to hover above and punish the, oh, my God. What? When was the last time I saw that work for Mango? Oh, my gosh. The forward smash? Wow. Oh. And the crowd uh, definitely favoring Mango yeah. here. Oh, my goodness. I would say slightly. It's all right. He's got, he's got Captain Crunch. He's got him. Yes. And okay, look how fast that was. I, I love talking about that. Yeah. Mango ASDI down to ledge and immediately knew to wave dash on and get the grab. Oh my Hbox goodness. was unable to respond with the correct DI in time. Mango got the, the free follow-up. I actually thought he was going to uh, make use of that full 30 seconds uh, with his coach. Yeah. But he uh, no, goes right away. He I think he under grabbed a sip of something. Wow, yeah. Mango not missing any techs on this pound. And that's crucial because that's a uh, Hbox's punishes are kind of contingent on you missing your techs. Then a pound like that is difficult. Yeah. Part of his flow chart is that he's always... Ooh, that was a sick up air from Hbox. Yeah, what? <laughs> My god. Uh, yeah, but part of Hbox's flow chart is he's always looking for that one step where he knows, like, oh, you're going to miss this, and then I'm going to punish it this way. Right. Oh, wow. The grab. You just don't allow him that. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Ooh, wow. Great uh, crouch and shield from Hbox. Whoa, straight, straight up, up from Mango. Whoa! Oh my, oh my what? Mango. That was crazy. Okay. Again, the high angle. Dude, the aerial drifts. Yeah, fades all the way back. Mm. Okay, covers second place. Oh, he, oh man, he's... Mango still has not touched, but he's able to fade the ledge, and he misses the ledge dash. I mean, he's making Hbox work for that edge guard. That was like three or four extra hits and uh, knockoffs than yeah, usual. Definitely. Hbox, though, super confident with that stage position. And mm -hmm. up a, uh, about a stock and a half, I'd say, right now. Yeah, he's in with a that healthy, percentage, right? healthy lead. Yeah. That, that, there the we go. Standing still from Mango is so scary. That's a lot of what SFAT did against Hbox as well. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of uh, just not moving. Oh, great read from Hbox. Oh. Oh. And he actually had a little bit of time because the roll uh, yeah. stays to the left side of that platform. So yeah. he delayed his rest perfectly to get that conversion. Teching against the edge right there is never good because when you tech roll, you have the same amount of intangibility as you would as a tech in place. Right. But you're in the roll animation longer. Exactly. So you, act, you have. Uh, it takes longer for you to be able to react. Yeah, yeah. Oh my goodness! And uh, Mango trying to make a little bit of a comeback. Yeah, that's exactly the stock he needed. Mm -hmm. Well, he needs two more of them still. And yeah, uh, it's looking like it might be tough. Gets the shorten. Yeah, that's that's smart. Ooh, that was an unsafe backer. <laughs> and that neutral air is so good from Hungry Box. He can kind of just like float above the shield and then fade back or forward based on what Mango does. Yeah. Each box with the crouch grab on the soft back air again. Okay. Yeah, the, the way he's doing his back is right above the shield. Not easy to punish. Mm. Oh, he, oh, he misses his uh, ledge grab. He, he does the shortest wave dash and doesn't quite get it. Oh, Mango? Okay, great. Yeah, Smash that would have been a stock. The clutch box coming out. Oh, Whoa. I think he was expecting a Smash DI out of the drill, and then he doesn't do his normal grab after? Yeah. Okay. He does DI it, okay. Look at these move blocks. Mango. He's getting a little crazy. Oh, what? The call yeah, out. I think he caught him acting. Yeah. I don't, don't think that shield. was a shield poke. I think he caught him acting. I think so, too. Mango at a high percentage, but he's brought this all the way back. 
Yo. That trade will be this, good for H-Box because he gets the tech chase. This should be it, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah and he's ready immediately to go out there with that back air. Mm -hmm. Sending it all the way to game five. Yeah, and oh my goodness. <laughs> it's got the USA flag. I feel like that uh, is a supportive of both players. <laughs> I guess, <laughs> but, yeah, right. But more so Mango, I suppose, <laughs> given his persona. Yeah. Oh, man. <laughs> That's funny. FD. Mango does have the final counter pick. Oh, and these crouches. Yeah. Hasn't really done it too much during this set. He could get a lot of mileage out of it if he gets even one rest out of it. Yeah, Mango's building up a lot of percentage uh -oh. so far. And he's so good at teching. Yeah, he's been teching away on it a lot of times. Oh, he tried to call that out. Damn, that would have been a crazy call out. Yeah. Okay, this is... Hbox's chance! He doesn't oh, he go could, for the yeah, rest! Uh, yeah, he could have rested on that straight up, but, but he says, I don't need it. That's actually smarter for him because he... Okay. Oh! If he had cleaned it out, that would have been the right call completely. Yeah. Yeah. Otherwise, you're trading stocks. I mean, I was really surprised he didn't go for the rest out of the pound straight up. Yeah. 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 I, he just really is. He's really confident in his combo game nowadays, and it, it. You can see why. I really like that Mango just went for the no fear up smash when H Box was just coming down to MT, oh hopping my towards him. Gosh. Wow. Look at this percentage build. And the way he's uh, timing these neutral airs are getting him right after uh, H Box jumps, so he can't even like crouch cancel them. Yeah. Yeah. The option is just not available to him. Oh my goodness. Okay, that was great uh, DI from Hungrybox. Pretty hard to uh, get the up air there with the lack of stage. Right, he didn't really have anywhere to get the running momentum for that up air. Right, right. Oh my god. Wow! Oh my That time, Mango actually catches HBox DIing down on the Nair. Uh huh. And uh, with the no tech, it just puts uh, HBox on the ground. Right. It's a tech chase situation. Oh boy, the great tech on the pound. Tries an up smash read. Ooh, back throw. Uh, I think he's using back throw to kind of let HBox know that it's an option there and then trick up the DI on the next time he does up throw. Yeah. Perhaps. I mean, if the, you catch him DIing in on back throw, you can get aerial follow ups. Right. So right. Not a, not a bad look at all, really, to go for it. Especially if you're up throwing a few mix ups. Yep. But, yeah, man. Crouching HBox into back air is no. Nothing to scoff at. No, not at all. Oh, he oh. gets it! Oh, but he doesn't get the conversion! Yeah. That's so big because the risk to reward for Pound is like you're expected to get a KO. Yeah. Doesn't throw out that neutral air again. The Mango gets the tournament winner. Hbox tries to cover high. Doesn't have enough jumps to get the no, second No, yeah, that's air. the thing. He was The more jumps you use, the slower or the less uh, vertical mobility. Yes, that's they, a great They don't give you as much height. That's a great So point. he couldn't get up high enough to cover those higher angles. Oh, Mango. Tries to get the up smash. It looks like Hbox is kind of spacing for that up smash oh. now. The oh, amazing DI. Great DI from HBox. Yeah. Okay. You're right, though. He's definitely spacing for that. And now he's going down throw because he wants that read. Up throw will not net him anything. Oh, Shine trades with the up smash out of shield. And Mango with a two stock lead. HBox on the ropes. But HBox, so familiar to this. How many times have we seen this comeback, yeah. Webs? Especially this year, it's been the HBox classic. Yeah. He's been the clutch master. Okay. And it looks like he'll clean. No, he doesn't no. clean it out. That's not how it starts. F throw. Mango has taken, gotten a little bit of percentage on this stock. Okay. Good coverage by HBox. Very safe coverage. I think a uh, rest trade would be not, no, I guess not anymore. Not anymore. Rest yeah, is off the table. No. Rest is off the table. Yeah, now. especially, no. He, definitely he off. He can't rest anymore. <gasps> he gets the pound, but he, okay. Okay, up air is a great shot. Oh, oh he, he misses that one. He still has the knockdown. Oh, great And Mango roll. buffering roll. Yeah, a, a great roll. Okay, this is his, this is his chance. Oh, oh no, HBox has brought it all H the way to the limit. Can he do it again? This he goes to the ledge, Mango. Oh my goodness. Is this for the oh, lasers? Okay. Oh my god, one one hit from H-Box could turn this completely around. The Mango the chance. The oh! H-Box! And it's single hit up air! Oh. Mango seals it! H-Box not able to clutch it out this time. Oh my goodness, dude. When when H-Box is on his final stock like that, I'm just holding my breath. Literally holding oh. my breath. I'm like, okay, what is gonna happen? He had that pound as well which is a great combo starter for Puff. Yeah. And, oh my goodness, dude, that was so close. Oh, what a set, what a set. Shout outs to Hungrybox, like the, the adjustments he made because the first two games were pretty uh, one-sided for Mango. Yeah. And he brought it back almost, almost all the way. And that almost three stock comeback, man, this guy is a clutch. God, these sets between these two have been some of the best sets of Melee we've seen this year. Dude. And this loser semis proved to be no exception.